Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jungle Survival. In the last episode, I do apologize, I was having some issues with uh, my OBS software. It was uh, dropping frames left and right, so I do apologize for that. That last video was a little bit choppy, the audio was okay, but the video wasn't too great. So hopefully I've gotten that cleared up, found a nice YouTube video on it, I'll uh, actually link that in the description so that we, uh, if you have problems using your you know, online broadcasting studio to, or software, eh, you know, your OBS, um, if you have problems with it doing the same thing, then you know, I'll give a shout out to the YouTube video that I was able to use to find it, to find a fix for it. All right, so in the last episode, we did a little bit of uh, recon on some of the new items. Uh, got the blast furnace up. We have the smoker, which has actually been doing pretty good, making us some dried kelp and cooked salmon. We have a nice little composting barrel there, which will give us the uh, oh, bone meal. There we go. Um, I want to explore a couple things. We'll kind of do that towards the end of today's video and maybe want to make like a stone cutter or something like that. See if we can get that to work. But uh, I figured, hey, let's finish work on our farm. So I widened the bridge a little bit, but then I ran out of wood. So I think we're going to need to... Oh, he broke his lead. Um, we're going to need to chop down some more trees to get some more wood. But hey, guess what? We're in a jungle. There's plenty of it, and uh, of course, I will reasonably resource, right? Make sure I replant that which I cut down. Ooh, you ever get that uh, weird feeling when you're on a high place and you just kind of want to jump into a big pool of water? Yeah, me neither. But this is Minecraft! Nobody lives forever! Woo! Alright. So, let's go ahead and get some wood. What? What? Who that? Who dare? Ow. No, not allowed to die. Oh, there you are. Okay. Dude, that's not cool, bruh. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Oh, yeah. Eat it. Haha, <laughs> not today. Alright, let's chop down some trees. Get some wood up in here. Oh. <laughs> Shovel on wood. Not so good. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Alright, that was bad. That was really cheesy. That's alright. It happens. That's how we go. We run with the cheese up in here. We making it like mac and cheese. Okay, yeah, still. Bad, 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 bad. Alright. Hold shift. There we go. I'm going to have to go back into the mine, too, to get some more iron. Um, we're going to need to get an iron, iron axe, but right now we have the stone. That'll work. That'll do. That'll do. Probably should have waited till it was daytime. I'm hearing all sorts of friendly noises out there. They're like, Ugh. yep, see, see, I knew. I knew he was there. If I could find my right tool. There we go. Alright, let's eat some fish. Maybe that'll give me some better saturation and regeneration. Oh, got, got. Ugh. Now, since I am on the snapshot, just so you guys know, there's a little bit of uh, instability in the. Uh, you know, sometimes things tend to lag. That's okay. It's just a part of, you know, being running on the experimental gameplay that they got going. Um, it happens. No worries. So as long as the video goes okay, then that'll be all right. All right, let's keep getting some more wood. Oh, get some more regen going. Num, 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 fish. See, in Minecraft, I get to live... Oh, Okay, now I gotta punch wood. So now you get to sit here and watch me punch wood. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Kill Bill, right? When, you know, spoiler alert, when uh, she's training to to be an assassin or whatever. And oh, 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 
Okay. Beating you with fish, not a good thing. Should pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, don't want to die. Okay, let's just go up here. You know what? Let's just... Let's just go up here and hang out for a little bit, huh? 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 Regen my health. All right. What I was going to say is in Kill Bill, when she's learning how to become an assassin, um, she gets locked in like a, a wooden box. I think it's like a, uh, oh, one of those things where they put the dead body in when they're burying in a coffin. There we go. Um, so she gets locked in a coffin and she, like she has to punch her way through using just her fist. That was some pretty crazy intense stuff right there, if I don't say so myself. Put a light right there. All right. Um, I guess I could just do that. Okay. If I fall to my death, um, yeah, it'll just be embarrassing. So hopefully I don't fall to my death. My cooked cod. I really need to get my farm going too. All right. That's right. That's why I got wood. That's what I got the wood for. We'll turn all of those, uh, or at least half of them. What's that? Do an oak sapling. Cool. All right. Where am I at? Am I actually... Oh, I'm at my farm. Okay. Cool. All right. So I have a little bit of dirt that I can put there. I'll put up some more dirt. Gonna have to figure out exactly how I want this to be laid out. I have an idea. Alright. Put the jungle planks there. Let's finish building our box around. Sorry, Mr. Llama. Llama, llama, llama. It's like whenever I hear the word llama, it reminds me of, uh, I don't know why, this is a weird name or, you know, word association, but, uh, you know, that uh, author and, and makes uh, producer of movies, uh, M. Night Shyamalan. So every time I hear llama, I think of Shyamalan. I know, it's weird, but hey, it's kind of funny. And besides, what's weird, me saying it or the fact that you're watching it? I don't know. All right, I gotta do something with this bridge. I was, I wanted to kind of go with like a, uh, the look of like you know like the um, rope bridge type thing, but I don't think that's gonna work. I'm not. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. But when it comes to design, I'm not the most artistically inclined in Minecraft. I mean, I'm really good at following directions. So if I find a really good tutorial then I'm usually pretty good at kind of figuring my way through things. Um, so, you know, that's not the worst thing that could possibly happen. All right, so we have some of that. Let's see. I have my bucket for some water, so I need to get that. Now the question becomes, do I want to make an ax with my iron that I have left over? I think I should. I think that would be a wise decision. Because I always have to, you know, come up and down every once in a while to get some, uh... Oh, I'll get some more water and stuff. Alright, so let's go down to the bottom. I gotta get some more fish anyway. So we'll just go down the safe way. Not the quick way. All right, and then we'll go down this way. Ow, jerk. I don't want none. I don't want no Girl Scout cookies, please, and thank you. Sometimes, sometimes those, those zombies and skeletons, they like, they remind me of, right? You know, you ever go grocery shopping? And I mean, the kids are cute, right? Like, don't don't get me wrong. And, in, in, you know, hopefully when my kids get older, they'll want to, uh, ooh, I have to go visit what's over there. That looks pretty cool. Um, my little girls get older. If they want to get into scouts or something like that, then I'll 
you know, I'll, I'll be a supportive parent, but it's just like, oh my God, relax kids. And then what's worse is a lot of times it's not even the kids that are sitting there waiting to poach you for the Girl Scout cookies. It's like the 50 year old mom. And you're like, wait, back off. Like, seriously, I'm not going to buy Girl Scout cookies from you. Like, I mean, I get that you're trying to help your kid out and, you know, you want your kid to, I don't know, go to Jamboree or whatever it is that they do or get prizes and presents or whatever. But seriously, like, it's one thing to buy Girl Scout cookies from cute little girls, you know, and and they make you feel sorry and, you know, it's for my education and, you know, I want to be a better citizen. But (laughs) then you get the, 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 like the, the, you know, raspy, 50 year old woman she's like you want to buy some girl scout cookies and you're like whoa creepy i know it's it, it's weird and hey if you're one of those parents you know I, I get it i'm sure when my kids start getting into stuff like that they will want you know they'll want my help with stuff oh are you gonna give me a fishing rod that would be totally awesome if you did like i'll gladly take the donation of a fishing rod from you come on no 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 fishing rod Okay, well, you know, just trying to get what I can. All right, so I got four fish. Uh, all right, let's just get as much of the seaweed as I can. This stuff is horrible, and I'm sure it tastes bad. Sorry, but it'll keep me alive for now, and that's what matters. Okay. See, this is fun, right? Totally, I came down here to... Well, I did need to get some food. But, get my first bit of water. Seriously? Seriously. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Like, you're in the middle of the ocean, which should theoretically be endless source blocks. I take one, and then boom, all of a sudden it's missing a, you know, a block worth of... Uh, Come here, Mr. Fish. I'm going... Don't worry, I'm only going to eat you. Alright, um... But yeah, it should be endless source block, and you take one, and then it leaves a chunk out of it. You're next, Mr. Fish. I mean you no harm, I just want to kill you and take your rawness and throw it into an oven. Thank you. Okay, so where was I? What was I doing? Oh, yeah, that was right. I need to get some dirt, too, because I'm going to need that. So let's just dig straight across, because why not? All right. See, not too bad. We're getting some stuff done, I think, this episode. If not, we're just getting some food, and you're watching me get food, and then you're listening to me complain about... You know, old women selling Girl Scout cookies. And who knows, maybe I should give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe her kid was, I don't know, having a smoke break or something. (laughs) Okay, that's horrible. Oh, that's bad. Um, No, I'm sure her kid was somewhere else. Maybe poaching somebody out in the parking lot to buy some Girl Scout cookies. That's okay. Ugh, is the video lagging again? I mean, mm, weird. Okay. Well, I will have to double check because this whole rant and all this stuff might not end up on video. Let's see. Let's get back upstairs. Come on. Come on. Alrighty. Let's see. What did I end up with? So I got some jungle logs. Let's make some more charcoal. Oh, and I do have some charcoal there. That's good. Put that in the smoker. Put okay, so I got plenty of kelp, so that's good. Um let's see. Guess we'll put that there for now. I'm gonna put the cod and stuff back in. Let's eat this one so that way I 
keep me from going hungry. Um, we'll put half that in there. There we go. We'll do that. Put this down here. Let's go finish off the layout for the farm. Hmm. Okay, I need to figure out how I want to place my water. I can do one of a couple different things. So when, when you're farming, you have to have water nearby. Um, kind of like you know, irrigation like you would in real life. There's a few different thoughts. Some folks will put theirs like in the corners. Sometimes you'll see them in the middle. Sometimes you see them along the sides. Um, and then sometimes you just have like a strip of water and then, uh, you know, the crops on the side of it. Uh, I'm undecided at the moment how I want mine to look. I think what I'll do, because usually when you put in the water, you get about three or four blocks away that it, the, the water will hydrate the ground and that way it'll you know grow stuff and it won't pop the seed back out. So if I do one, two, three, let's do one there. And because, you know, it would just be weird to have it hanging out of the tree. What's up, llama? And then we'll do the same thing here. One, two, three. I guess we're putting some there. I wonder. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three. I probably don't even have this measured right. I'm sure I'm driving somebody nuts. One, two, three. You know what? Those two will work perfectly. I won't have a source. That's a, that's okay. But at least this way, I'll have some water there. I'm going to need to get an, an infinite spring. I'll probably put it down at the base over here. So... Bear with me just a few moments. Uh, I'm probably going to use a little bit of a time lapse or something. So that way you don't have to watch me go through all of that a bunch of times. Okay, so I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. So, um... Well, obviously I'm back up at the farm. I don't have all the water up here yet. But what I did do was created an infinite water source down here. Um, I also smelted up some of our food. So not every, you know, not everything they need to be on the video. I'm going to have to come up with a better way to get up and down around here, uh, especially to get to the farm because uh, a couple of times I've already had to just go up the the ladder to get to the tree house and then climb the bridge over. So I don't know if that's the best way that we want to continue to do this. And ugh, these vines. But yeah, let's see what we can do over here. Um, what I should do is I should create some more ladders. Actually, just do a few of those there. Um, what, six? I think six will do. Yeah, maybe. Let's make some more. Nothing wrong with that. Let's we'll, you know, get these up there. Nine. Nine should be good. Sounds like a good number, right? Divisible by three. Uh, prime number, right? I think... Uh, where is the farm? The farm's right there. So if... I attach it to this tree here... That should get me maybe up there. We'll see. Yeah. If all else fails, it gets me closer up, and then I can traverse across branches. So uh, there, and just do a little bit of parkour. Hmm. Or let's just do a little terraforming. And I guess we're just going to ladder up, huh? Or bridge up. Let's see. That should do it there. And we're back up here. All right. Well, hey, maybe that will work well. And you know what? For now, 
I'm going to cheat just a little bit, but not too much. It's just make an infinite water source there. And so if you don't know what I mean by an infinite water source, um, notice that I have three blocks of water right here, but I only actually put in two. Put one in this corner here and one in this corner there. As long as I take out of the middle, these two will replenish this one each time. That's what it th that's what it means by an infinite water source. So I go and I put that one there and put that one there. There's a few different ways to make an infinite water source, but notice right, right there, I took that water block out and it's flowing, so I gotta put it back. Um, you have to have at least, uh, in a strip, you have to have at least three. Or what you could do is if you have a set, like a, a square of four holdout blocks, and then you have one in uh, diagonal corners, that will also create an infinite water source. So that's what I have down below. All right, now that I have that though, because we want good surface area for our farm, um, let's go make this a little bit wider because I need a wider step. I'm gonna figure out exactly you know how I want to do this. Um, yeah, thought maybe having like some logs in the end, or what I could do is I could go with some fence. Uh, I'll experiment, see what looks better. I've also had like the idea of putting a taking out this middle row and putting in a half slab so it gives a little bit of depth, right? So it gives it the appearance that it's kind of hanging in the middle. We'll see. Well, we can change it up, right? Right now we're not in this for for comfort yet. We're still surviving. Um, okay, what am I doing? Oh yeah, so I need to I need to craft a hoe because everyone needs a hoe every once in a while. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Not true. Um, but I do need the tool, the hoe, to be able to till the earth. So it's just, uh, I'm going to use stone. So it's just two over uh, for the stone up top and then two sticks. All right. And then I'm going to grab my wheat seeds which is cool so that's one of the changes in the the snapshots uh, for the upcoming 1.14 um these used to just be called seeds now they're specific to wheat so they're wheat seeds which i mean okay i'm getting excited over just a, a slight name change but you know what it's fitting that they changed the name because it is what it actually is now all right so i have a llama in my base which is kind of cool and there's a llama there that's spitting at something. What are you spitting at? Oh, the llama's spitting at the zombie. That's pretty crazy. All right, you guys see that? Am I just crazy? Oh, yeah, get it, get it, get it. Oh, don't die. So my wandering trader must have died. Or he disappeared or, like, despawned or something, but then left the llamas. Because now one of the llamas is in my tree house. And <laughs> the other llama's down there chasing zombies away. Interesting. Alright, so all I'm doing to till the earth is just right-clicking with my hoe. And then that's basically preparing my farmland. Ooh, that's going to be a pain. So, one thing, when you jump on farmland, it actually turns back into dirt. Um, so my ladder or my, you know, my stairwell coming down is going to be a little bit problematic, but notice, okay, here, so this is what I was talking about with having the, the water. This is hydrated, uh, farmland and this is dry farmland. The dry farmland can still technically produce a crop. Um, it's just, it has a chance of spitting the seeds out. And in addition with that, um, it doesn't grow as fast. Whereas the hydrated dirt that you see there, that grows faster. So as we go along, I'm gonna go ahead and plant in the hydrated earth. Now, technically I could plant all over, which I mean, would be fine too. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna get it in the, the wet spots. And, ooh, okay. So let me go back upstairs and do a couple things. I'm going to make some half slabs because I want 
to fix it to where I'm not trampling my crops, because that would be bad. What's up, Mr. Llama? We're going to have to come up a name, with a name for the llama. So, uh, if you're watching this, feel free to leave a comment in, you know, down below. And let me know what you think of a name for the llama. I mean, the llama looks a little majestic, right? It's got uh, some robes on or like a, a blanket on that's a blue color. And you got red and gold, right? Some like maroon or burgundy. So there's kind of some royal colors, I think. So, yeah, think of a name. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. All right, so I have a carrot. Just one, but hey, it's a carrot. So I'm going to plant the carrot as well. You know, got to get those crops renewing. And then we're going to make some light down here, some more light, because I do not want... Oh, I forgot to do the half slabs. Okay, that's all right. We'll figure it out. But I'll make it light, because that's the one thing, too, is the crops require light in order to grow. Um, or they grow quicker with the light, I should say. So let's put that in there. Let's just plant the rest of these seeds that I have. So yes, this is going to not have enough to fill, and that's okay. It's going to look all janky, but you know what? Whatever. It happens. Um, so there. Hey, we got it. We got the starting of our farm. We're going to have to make it look pretty, of course, but right now everything's about, you know, it's about function, not... <laughs> uh... Yeah, I almost uh, uh, had to change my shorts there. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, that was awesome. Nothing like, you know, just wandering off the edge a little bit and not realizing where you are. Okay, let's come in here. Well, hey, if you enjoyed today's episode, uh, I was glad to have you. Please leave a rating and any comments to help the, the videos get better. Um, you know, as I go through, I'm just doing what I enjoy. And right now I'm playing these snapshots, even though they're kind of, you know, killing some of my computer memory and, and running my RAM down, which is funny because, you know, I run some of these mod packs that are super hefty and beefy and I, I got no problems, but I'm running this snapshot, especially this new one that they just ran out. Um, I think it's like the 19W.0. 16A or something, or 6A or something like that. Um, yeah, I think it's 06A. They, they just ran it out, so I, or I just downloaded it today. Um, but it's definitely given me some lag, especially around the uh, vines and stuff I've noticed. Um, it's definitely not OBS crashing on me this time, but it's all right. We'll work through it. We always do. And I appreciate you guys spending time with me. In, again, in the comments, uh, you know, think of a name for our royal llama up there and uh, leave me any good feedback to help these get better. Thank you very much for joining me and you take care.